Hello and welcome to the second episode of Renowned Explorers International Society. We're on the second expedition, hence why it's the second episode. And I have picked Caribbean Island as the next expedition, most because we can be aggressive. But we can also be uh, devious, so if the smugglers are aggressive we can beat them that way. Uh, we have a bonus for nature challenges and we need research. Which was the overall, that was the main reason I'm picking it, it's the research. We could do the Amalia mystery, because we have a rogue, an athlete, and a baguette, and a baguette And God is always useful, but the friendly approach is going to hamper us. I've never actually done this one, I don't, I don't think. Or at least succeeded. I don't have the achievement for it, because <laughs> I know I'm a good devious. But we had to go for Rook's Lost Treasure. Because we need the science. Finally, you can start the search for Roach's treasure. Or Roach's treasure, whatever. The treasure once stolen from the Spanish Silver Fleet should be somewhere on this pristine and beautiful island. Dolores, or Dolores, I don't know how you pronounce her name, looks at the map you got from Pinkerton to find out where. A place near a waterfall. Basically there. The crew sets foot on the beautiful island and looks around. Just when Yvonne finds some man-made debris and realises this island is not as uninhabited as you might th first thought, you've got company. Smugglers. They come rushing towards you. Our secret island has been discovered. We've got to silence them, mates. It seems they will leave you no choice. So I need uh, Dolores to be pretty... Uh, up front here to tank it out because they're gonna do they're gonna do um, physical attacks. We can go devious, easy. <laughs> that will give us grit, I think. Which will help help against Against uh, their physical attacks. I'm going to use my ability on you, so it will kill you, but get them out of the hell zone and put Dolores in it. Next turn, if the enemy doesn't move, we can put um, Yvonne on that one. It's this attack that I'm worried about. It missed anyway. Finish you off. <laughs> so the, the damage uh, the enemy did to, 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 to Dolores because of her high armor and plus the grit means she didn't take that much damage and it's been fully healed. If depending on where they're placed, your best bet is to get in control. Oh, that killed her. It's to gain control of the health spots and fight from there, because the world has come to you. Although, if the sat in the world, you should run away a bit. But if they do that, you can normally beat them anyway. With the smugglers out of the way, your crew has enough time to hide the boat and to start exploring the island. Suddenly, it seems that this island is a smuggler's hideout. Better be careful. Ready to go, Dolores leads the crew into adventure. So, trader, technique challenge, engineer, or rogue. We have a level 2 engineer. I'm not level 1 rogue, we'll try this. We'll go this way. Some smugglers are celebrating. Oh god, that's not. That's some terrible, terrible odds. Some smugglers are celebrating a hole they just made. They're having a great time. And the. And the oh my. I can't speak. And I. And I. Oh An ideal mood for a roguish character to confiscate some of that hole. Well, I can't exactly lose any collect because I've got. Oh, I haven't got one. But I get it anyway. That's how you do it. Success! Yvonne, Yvonne might just sneak in and take a large chunk of their loot. That smuggler's party will end pretty sour once they start dividing their spoils. Very nice. We'll go this way. In such distant places, you are bound to make some discoveries about the nature of things. While exploring, Dolores often asks someone to keep their eyes open for such discoveries. 
Well, because we have the uh, natur naturalist perk. Uh, perk, level 3. Plus the science and speech. We get 100% chance. A discovery! Anna manages to find a new type of beetle. While Anna is happy with the find, Yvonne is slightly disgusted. Hmm. I'm gonna go this way. While walking, Yvonne steps on a banana peel. You hear a monkey laughing and taunting you from a tree. You look and notice a group of monkeys with one laughing at you is blue. Oh no, we can't have that. Your mom's not having that. Right, I'm gonna get a turn or two. It's gonna take them a turn or two to get here. I'm gonna guess I can insta kill. Oh, I can't. Uh -huh. I was hoping that would just do a bit, like, bit more damage. Whew. Right. A little devious because it'll want my friendly attack with her. Means um, they get plus speech, which we don't want. Attack is fine because they don't the physical attacks. <laughs> At least they shouldn't do. So they're going to take a turn to get here. That's fumbled. We get a lot of fumbles on the enemy, that's good. Made her angry. <laughs> Minus armor, which doesn't matter because they're only using armors for physical attacks, not speech. Don't fumble. <laughs> nice. I like how I pit this, so I didn't have to go friendly, and I'm having to go friendly. To be honest, that might, that might kill. Uh -huh. Yeah, it did. If it's quite low, it sometimes just kills. I go devious because that is guaranteed to hit. See, I don't want them taking this spot. You can't reach from there. Okay. We're friendly here. That actually lands. That's, that's nice. Probably should have done this one first because that gives it negative speech defense. But we will actually. We'll, I'll, I'll try and take the kill here. Nice. I don't think there's anything she, she can do. And if we do anything um, aggressive, it immediately switches. And they're, they're good against that. So I'm going to have to end turn, I think. So that plus 25 speech defense I'm going to get is going to help out pretty well here. See, it, it, it doubles the speech defense. It, well, it over doubles it because the speech defense is normally only 20. So that would have done over double damage if it wasn't without that. So I should have lost over half a health, which will make things very awkward.
We'll impress the uh, this boss. Well, it's not really much of a boss fight, but lots of tougher anyway. We'll stick her in the health zone. We we'll use devious so it doesn't get plus plus speech. And that being confidence, fine. <laughs> That's only six damage, and that heals like seven to ten, I think. And it's fumbled. Nice, 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 nice. <laughs> We're due for a fumble. <laughs> we haven't fumbled one yet. She will always hit her speech because of her class. That will lower the speech defense. She'll finish this one next to her. <laughs> Alright, let's finish it. No. You can use your friendly abilities to heal your, your, your allies. Which is why I could, I could target uh, Dolores there. The blue monkey and his friends stop taunting you and are, and are slowly leaving the area. There is a trader. Let's have a look. While travelling through a local settlement, Dolores spots a small hut where both supplies and items are being sold. I'm not, I'm not sacrificing myself this, this early on. I can't back that. That, that was a complete waste. That's unfortunate. Oh, there's a blue monkey again. I've just fought this battle. A group of monkeys led by a blue monkey is bullying bullying another barrel. They look really scared. Sadly for you, the blue monkey notices you and tries to assert his dominance over you as well. Friend is good for us, but we don't want to do it. <laughs> well, I'll start off then to give me the speech defense, and I'll switch to devious. Can I reach that? Badly, actually. Huh? Oh, that's not too bad. Second attack coming in. Which is to devious here. And I try and bring them to the, this part of the map because I've got three heels here. <laughs> this map cost me a resolve actually, they might kill her. Uh. 
just come back. Because I'm going to get two or three attacks here. This is going to hurt. This is really going to hurt. Ah, I've also resolved. Bollocks. Oh no, I haven't. I've just come out <laughs> unscathed. Heal. Heal, heal, heal. <laughs> and take the kill. Take the kill. that blue monkey, I don't know how much damage it does. I'm about to find out. A fair amount. Take out that monkey, that's fine. And that'll switch it to friendly, which gives me the speech defense. We'll go devious with you. Then I'll heal you. Going for Dolores, which is fine because she's the one with full health. And what I can do now is go Primal Roar because I'll take both, I'll hit both enemies. I'll hit the friendly move. Because I'm going to give it less speech defense. And then devious. <laughs> this blue monkey shouldn't take me out in one turn. Which should result in me winning this fight. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Now it's just a case of finishing it off. I almost messed up that fight, split, uh, splitting Ivan off from my party early on, but I got away with it. Got away with it. <laughs> Only just, but I did get away with that one. The bullet monkeys are delighted you broke that blue monkey's spirit. They start copying your behaviour and start practicing their pranks and taunts. They sure seem to have a talent for that. It's time for another training session. This time, Dolores will tutor Yvonne. Yvonne will say slightly, but it's not impossible to stand up to a determined Dolores. Let's train. Yvonne just can't start like that. Before Yvonne can start her wrestling career, she is baptized with a new name. La Tortua. Now the training can begin. I think she got smashing, so she'll get her uh, wrestling. What an exhausting training. Yvonne is absolutely shattered. The sparring sessions were quite bonding, though. Dolores is very proud of the crew's progress. Next time, she'll try to organise a local wrestling tournament. If it all goes well, the professional wrestling world will better prepare for Lost Explore Explorer Dolores. Dolores is I want the supplies. A branch hanging over a chasm gives you the possibility. Oh, God. To take a shortcut. A balance of is required to get to the other side and secure a rope for others to pass. Oh, a survivalist. That's, I very rarely need a survivalist. Uh, good luck, Anna. 
Damn it. Hopefully the failure isn't too bad here. Failure. Anna isn't able to keep her balance and falls. Luckily, Anna breaks the fault into the ravine, but the branch is broken. Uh, we'll camp. Oh, nice. I'll take that one. Yvonne's fame follows her everywhere. Even here in Sarasa Island. That's meant to be deserted. <laughs> Some journalists still try, tire, try tirelessly to get an interview. This one has been admirably tenacious, and everyone decided to give an interview while the crew rests. That's it, they started. The journalist is grateful and bombards Yvonne with questions about her life in the Canadian Special Forces, her acting career, and of course, the crew. What was it like to work with common explorers? What are the dynamics in this crew? We'll praise them. I see, of course, you need equally capable companions if you want to succeed out here. I can spot their strength and wit with one glance. Impressive. As the interview wraps up, Monkumo in particular is particularly delighted with Yvonne sharing the spotlight. Well, Dolores. How kind of Yvonne to share the fame and glory she already has. Dolores can't wait to smell the ink of the next explorer now with a name in it. This interview will surely attract more journalists. Yvonne's kind gesture will not go unnoticed. What you get in these cards, I think I said last episode, they are random. Uh, the form of they're from a deck that you can collect over time, but what you get is random. Apart from, obviously, uh, that was a hero card, well, that was a character card. If you pick that character and you have it unlocked, it will always be in your deck. Whether you actually get it or not during your playthrough uh, is random. Unfortunately. I've got quite lucky in my first two, to be fair. Right. Get resources. Ooh, I want to go there. What a nice find. In the deep jungle, you find a rare blooming stasis flower. It wilts with an interesting chemical process within an hour. However, if you take the artifact now, it remains in its beautiful form for years. You could also study the decay process instead. Uh, well, she wants, she's a scientist, she wants to study it. I'm gonna need to research. Engineer or rogue, we have that. On the clear beach, your crew finds something peculiar. A lighthouse. Poorly made, but functional, stands out. Some smugglers are around the lighthouse, not paying too much attention. Del always wonders what this might be all about. Let's have a look. The crew looks from a distance. From there, they hear someone that looks like the smuggler boss talking to the other smugglers. There are intruders on the island, and he didn't take care of them. Ye fools. I got after them myself. He had it in line with a small crew. Time to get some goods. Those fools are looking the wrong way. This gives Yvonne an excellent chance to snoop around and collect some coins while the rest of the crew is on guard duty. A few moments pass when something changes at the smuggler's lighthouse. A ship. It sails under a black flag. It's probably a smuggler's ship. The ship comes closer and moors some distance from the coastline. Dolores considers whether the crew should board the ship. Can we come and design one? Oh, we can. Dolores thinks that building your own boat or raft seems like the best option. We will lead the construction of your mighty sea vessel. She, of course, has plus 40% from the engineer. I don't know how speech defense helps with building things, but apparently it, it does. Some quality ship writing by Anna. The raft is top, of top quality. Sparking the crew's interest. Yvonne obviously used the luxury of the Albatross. It's not entirely comfortable though. The crew is on their way to the ship, well, out of the mainland smuggler's sight. To the ship. A lot of research, let's go. The crew rows and rows and rows. After a pretty long time, you finally reach the ship. You also managed to stay undetected by the large crew on board the smuggler's ship. Great. How long will that last? Let's board the ship. After a small discussion, Dolores decides that Anna is the most suitable to board the ship silently. Even though Yvonne's the rogue. Yvonne's the rogue. Anna climbs into the hold of the ship through a portal, a portal to see what's inside. Hostages! These poor people need to be helped. Anna notifies the other crew members of the situation, and the crew helps the hostages into your vessel. Wait until the rest of the world hears about this. However, all that mumbling below deck has given away your position. 
A smuggler captain yells at you as you start to row away. They're getting away with our cargo. Get me a boat and follow them. They're in hot pursuit. Hot room for your lives. Well, Dolores is an absolute monster of a human. <laughs> she, can, she, can, she can get us there easy. Such amazing power. Dolores rose at top speed while screaming with power. <laughs> Impressive. Even though the smuggler captain is getting closer, you manage to land somewhere safe. Moments later, the smuggler captain sets foot on land. I can't believe you got to our cargo without us noticing. You got any idea how much effort was needed to get that cargo? You will pay for this. Dolores makes it clear that you will not stand for this. Yeah, don't want it, The smuggler captain continues. This valuable cargo is ours, but now I got you. Hidden team, strike. Someone emerges just on the stand to strike Yvonne. And Dolores takes them out. Don't mess with D Dolores, man. 13. They are aggressive. We can actually go devious. Uh, we can also... Okay, you know what? Seeing as we've got health right by us, I'm going to camp here. <laughs> uh, plus 25% speech. Oh, I can only redo the last move. Crap. Oh, I'm going to have to heal you up then. Uh, give you the plus speech. And she's impressive, so I don't want to like that slower speech defense. That was a devious move. There we go. Right. Terrifying rock. That'll give us plus grit. <laughs> Off in his face. We can actually kill him with this, I think. Yep. I'll make it uh, aggressive. I move one. Nice. The smuggler captain lies defeated, and the remaining smugglers run in panic. The day is yours. Great, time to see what we got. The hostages rejoice in your victory. You send them back to the albatross for their own safety. You have uncovered a secret hostage network, and Yvonne recognizes one of the hostages. One of the hostages is Dona Olivares, a Cuban diplomat. When Yvonne talks with her, she agrees to support your expeditions. A new member for your entourage. Very nice. With that, the smuggler's hideout adventure comes to an end. Yvonne can't wait to brag about how you entered a black flagship and defeated the smuggler captain. It was easy, that. It is on Classic. i just got a pretty decent team. <laughs> right. Everyone can level up. Hey, I'll take that. I'll take the speech. I'll take the uh, enemy debuff. Game one campaign token when we're on the battle devious. Gain an extra speech on a Saddam. Yeah, because the Saddam's not killing not kind of things in one hit. Don't forget, if she gets a second not as powerful attack, it'll finish the job. Plus one to three whenever you enter an area with a nature challenge for the first time, or area and a surrounded enemies gain plus one terrified at each turn. Hmm. Yeah, we'll go, we'll go plus one to three for the nature challenges. Okay, we've got two of the three there, we'll go there. A group of loco... locos? What? A group of locals. If you are able to impress these people, they might give, shower you with gifts and respect. They seem they might be a little gullible to a roguish lie. 
Dolores, Dol Dolores has puns on who to lead it talk. Oh, we don't need. We, we, we're just imp impressing with the, with the story. Wow, Yvonne's chance was too much to handle for the locals. The locals are all that want to get close to Yvonne and get an autograph on a piece of wood. The crew gains gifts and praise from the impressed locals. You see, I've had what one challenge where I've needed a uh, survivalist, which is a scout, usually. Uh, so there's, there's basically one challenge where I've lost out on tokens, but look how many I've gained from having 100% in something. It's what you got to decide on. You, you have a wide array of skills, so you get a decent chance at everything. Or do you get like level 3 and 4 in like three, you know, one, one level 3 or 4 skill for each character? It means uh, so half of them there'll be a lower chance, but the other half you, you're guaranteed to succeed. And I prefer that, I prefer the, the latter strategy. So 3, 2, no, be 2, 1, 0. Yeah. So I'm going to miss out on the right side, which is unfortunate, on the boss fight. What an amazing find. In the deep of the jungle, you find the elusive 100-year fruit. The low-hanging fruit takes more than 100 years to grow to this size. Surrounding the fruit is a bowl of monkeys performing a ritual never witnessed before. You can just set the fruit to safety. A naturalist might be interested in studying the monkey's ritual. We'll study at the risk of losing the fruit. Fascinating. Anna observes that the monkeys know about the fruit, just testing cultural memory in this barrel. Once the monkeys start shaking the tree, making squish squishy noises and explosive gestures, Anna starts to get anxious and rushes in and takes the fruit. The monkeys are seemingly disappointed. With the research and fruit in hand, you leave the hot and monkeys behind. Nice. Under GF fruit. Plus one discovery or plus one treasure hunt. So treasure hunt's mostly a bunch of money, I think. Discovery is a bunch of science. We'll take discovery. See, we missed out on a few here, but you know, if I had more, if I had more science on the first expedition, I could have got a bit more supplies. I'm not to go here, I'm on for the boss. You hear gunshots in the vicinity, you follow the sound, and see a smuggler showing off at a target practice. Uh, of a target shooting in front of two other smugglers. A bullet ricochets off a tree and it's Yvonne who cries out of shock. The smugglers immediately run towards you. Let's do it. They're probably going to be aggressive, which means devious. Although... Is it only three? Okay, what I will do is I'm going to back everyone up because I can't get to them. They're going to come towards me and then I'll attack. There we are. I'm going to just casually insult everyone. That's how you do it. Beat them all up. <laughs> the plus great will make sure she's alright. Even if all three attack her. Right. Okay. Can I get all three? Oh, I can. Oh, I can kill them all. Easy. Hey, there we go. Aggressive. They sure won't be using explorers for target practice again anytime soon. You, you don't mind, won't. So I've missed a few more tokens this time. I, I, I'm not even explored all the map, but uh, I've got a lot of science, which is what I want. <laughs> you find it, the waterfall rock, the treasure hidden by the notorious pirate Captain Ro Roche, must be here somewhere. This is the goal of the expedition. Whatever happens here, it will end the expedition. Is the crew ready to go? Onwards. The pirate treasure. What a fantastic sight. No wonder that pirate Captain Roche chose this place to bury his treasure. The crew starts to look for clues and signs of treasure under the peerless guidance of Dolores. 
But it seems it'll take longer than expected. Someone might want to set up a defensive camp while the other crew members continue searching and digging. Donovan evaluates the issue. Oh, I'm going to take the risk. And it was worth it. Go on, Dolores. It looks like a bastion. Beep, beep. Boop. I can't do the Overwatch one. Dolores creates a camp at a strategic location with a lookout and everything. Besides that, it was a good way to learn about the environment. You'll be prepared, prepared for any hostilities that come your way. I've done this fight before. I think I, I normally leave that one because I never have someone that can do it. <laughs> Fantastic. To find the treasure, the crew spends hours looking for Roach's marks. The night passes and guard duties change while the crew works diligently to uncover the secret treasure. It's not long the next morning until something happens. Well, Dolores is the captain. I'm going to go with her. Treasure! After hours and hours of searching and digging, Yvonne's shovel finally hit a wooden chest. The crew opens it up to see the Spanish treasure in all its glory, surrounded by other pe precious pieces. The crew prepares to dig out Roger's treasure when you hear a deep laugh from behind. It's a smuggler boss! That twat. I heard these rats were on my island, but I didn't think they would be so kind as to find the treasure for me. Take your foot off my booty, long mothers. He has a heavy object towards you. A ticking bomb, oh dear. It's going to explode. It's going to blow and take some of the treasure with it. Dolores needs to char take charge of the situation quickly. But uh, we have an engineer here, plus 50%. We can easily defuse it. With sweaty hands, and a man just defuse the old bomb. You're able to secure some valuables before the boss comes in. The boss confronts you. It seems you won't go down with just an old sea mine. We'll show you what happens when you disrespect my territory. Fellas, get the treasure and crush these land lovers. It seems there is no choice. Right. Any any will do. So obviously we'll go uh, we'll go uh, Devious. The boss is all, all the way over there. We'll hit both of them. Um, I will actually attack her because that's a guaranteed kill. And that is going to do damage. And both of them can't attack her, I don't think. Can't attack Yvonne. I mean, next turn I can get both kill. I can get. I can kill the pair of them with Devious attacks to get my grip back. Seven damage. That's nothing. Hoping the boss doesn't get to the health. Where's the reinforcements? All the way over there, we don't care about that. You're not worthy. <laughs> did barely enough damage to it. We'll heal up. You get into the health, he is. That's not what we want. Well, we'll like, make him excited because that impressed him because that lowers his speech difference. Nice, 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 nice. But terrifying is a negative attack, which is just as good. So it'll make, it'll make him do less damage. Very good. Yeah. 
is going for Yvonne. 10 damage, not a lot for a boss, that. She does get shot. Isn't exactly great. Uh, but... Take her out with a physical attack. It's not a killer. Terrify him again. How much damage? Okay, we'll take her out completely. If the boss goes for Yvonne, I can move Yvonne back into that healing spot. And we'll easily, easily win. Oh, what's he doing here? Attack does more damage, so... Uh... I can't get to him. Where's this reinforcement over there? Friendly to impress him because that will lower his speech defense. So when I terrify him, it means he has his attack back to normal, but that will do more damage. Uh, uh, Good there. I think I can keep. Oh, yes. That second attack there. I think I'm at, I'm at to finish him off here. So I won't have to bother with those two reinforcements. Yep, I can. Sit down. Go cry to your mama. I'm taking a treasure. You're pathetic. Yeah, we went off. Get out of here. You totally broke their spirits. The smuggler boss is having difficulty keeping his act together and runs away in tears. His crew follows to at least try to cheer him up. You hear their faces, but voices fade into the distance. Go on, boss, it ain't that bad. We love you. You're the baddest smuggler on this island. If the smuggler's gone, you can safely retrieve Roach's treasure. Very good. It looks magnificent. A scent of gold fills the air. With Roach's treasure in your hands, the expedition is a success. You can proudly return to London with this old Spanish treasure. Well done. It's funny how a blue monkey was the toughest fight we had there. That was pretty straightforward. So I know I play just random like parties at this point, so I'm not used to having like a balanced party like this. So you know, I've got like so many skills. I, I, I picked it right. It makes the game a lot easier. Especially since I've sacrificed some attacking power to make sure my guys can get insta kill. You, you can get glass cannons in this game that can do a, shite, a load of damage in one hit. And then there's one in the fires that can get like three really powerful hits and it just pretty much wraps anything. But the moment they get attacked, they just die. Look at to take even a hit. Slice Scholar, uh, 686 for now, that's fine. You know they get the most renown from the last two expeditions usually. 
With that grey adventure behind you, you can send a report to an explorer walking in the city. This will unlock new possibilities on the world map, but you can only unlock one city per expedition. Uh, equipment shop. So we can do research. So that's quite useful, that one, uh, but... Do I have all three engineers? No, level two. Well, oh, I've got a lot of research, but yeah, that'll give me plus three capacity. Two inside out of that, that's a bit disappointing actually. But we'll go for research. Well, I did that last actually. Entourage, actually, what's this new one? Let's have a look. Athlete, stamina, or quick thinker, nimble. Uh, We don't need any more naturalist skills, because level 3 has been enough so far. Choices, choices, choices. Hmm. See, you got to think for the most part, there were hundred percent chances to, to do it. I think I will go for athlete actually. Pepe, the hard knocking Portuguese explorer, is so tenacious that he banned from he's banned from the Explorer Sport Club. Want to teach you one of the athlete tenacious or athlete smashing. We'll go for Dolores and Smashing. Was that other thing that she can learn? No, that's stamina. Well it doesn't mean I can't hire the one from San Francisco now. I'm like twenty short. So yeah, I can get a stamina for level 4 and get the quick thinker for level 3. <laughs> yeah, we're at a really good start actually. We've got some lucky cards and we've got a decent amount of, um, of goods here. Right. I mean, God's not great, but you know what I mean. Let's have a student. Merchants and a trader. That now I will use my insight for research. I don't think I'll get enough to actually research another one. Oh, I do. Do I? Oh, I do. Oh, I wanted that. <laughs> So before I leave, before I end today's session, uh, I'll come back from this one. I need trinkets now. Defense and attack was all fine. Check out a monocle then. It's stat bonus, plus three speech while you're devious is also good. You can have a cooking pot. 
I could have took the time. How does a cooking pot make your weapons expert? That makes no sense. Uh, the battery's useless because I've already got electromagnetics with uh, with uh, Anna here. I think this one I'm just gonna upgrade it. Upgrade. Charles Drama Story Time. So I'm looking at level 5. When she levels up. Chemistry, I've got chemistry. No, I don't. Well, I'll just put it great at that. And buy those for next time. We've yet to lose someone. We've got more to pick from our pole to pick the Highlands, I always do. You know, we've got to be good, we've got a diplomat, we've got level one tactician, and we've got an engineer. It's just friendless. You want to shoot another boss fight, you, you want friendly. Actually, I think I might go for Andy actually for a change. I'll decide for next time. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see next time tomorrow. Let's play Renowned Explorers International Society.